so this mic should be a little bit better. So guys, episode 2 of Minecraft Story Mode. I hope you guys are just as excited. We're going to be uh, taking basically what happened after the events of episode 1 and transferring them to episode 2. So we'll see what happens as a result of my actions prior. So I hope you guys are just as excited for Minecraft Story Mode episode 2. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and play a, a, a continue episode 2 called Assembly. That's not what it's called. I'm not sure what episode 2 is called, but regardless, we're going to get this started. So I hope you guys are excited, and let's get this party started. All right. Builders of Redstonia, I want you to know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the Command Block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. We need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? Uh, first of all, don't trust him. I don't trust you. I mean, you. I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Can you give her a message, please? No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. I'm here to reassemble the Order, all right? You know the Order? Eligard's old gang? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh, my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. No way. Nope. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Nope, I'm not trusting him. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Why should I trust him? He's given me no reason to trust him. You know? That's extremely presumptuous. He looks friendly, but that doesn't make him friendly. You know? Alright. 
So obviously we're gonna go to this chest first. Oh man, stone jackpot! That's jackpot. nice stone. Still warm. Let's talk to this chap as well. Hello, old man. Hi there. What? what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear you. But if it's about getting into Elgard's dome, no can do. Sorry. How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool. Theoretically. Do you do have you a have repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. Alright, so we have our stone block. We have our redstone dust. Now, what we need is the repeater. So let's go ahead. Let's talk to this suspicious looking person right here. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty, but some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. You got a spare repeater? I mean, yes, I do. But will I share it with you? Mm, no, afraid not. I might need it, so sorry. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Yeah, he's a he's a jerk, you know. Hi. Not to be that way. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Mm. The perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? I told him I wouldn't tell you, but he thinks your music is terrible. That little uh, I'm about to show him. Hey. Uh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! Ooh, yummy. Some steak. We want to get that steak. Can I get that steak? Yeah, I know. I stole it. Alright, well, looks like we can't go over there and interact with it. So, uh, for now, let's just go ahead and place this repeater on the ground. Like so. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Alright, here's where things get a little weird. 
Bam, door open. Oh, whoa. I was not expecting that. Switch is on. Okay, good. Ooh. Good. Really? That's it? Wow. Here it is. Elagard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Me too. That's pretty cool. That might be the most redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. Those things even for maybe I don't know breaking things up keeping intruders out there are lots of possibilities all right we're just gonna change the sequence here okay almost definitely a step in the right direction there it is it should be a yeah. Ooh. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh-huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Any idea what all this does? Well, it's clearly taking all of these materials and doing something with them but I'm not sure what yet but boy am I gonna find out come on let's keep moving all right let's go and look around here and see what we got so we still have the important stuff you know we got the block the redstone dust arrow bow the amulet the only thing I don't really care for is the sword it's a golden sword that's awesome Alrighty, let's go ahead and see what else we got over here. Uh, looks like we have a button. Hmm. What does it do? Oh, I see a lever. This has to do something. Alright. Now let's go back here and press that button. Are those? Bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. Is that everything? Nothing else I can interact with. Okay, let's go. Talk to Ruben. Oh, what do we got here? This is pretty cool. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Not everything is what it seems, that's all I gotta say. Inventory request. Operational. Delivery Not everybody latency. Speedy. Is Still how they seem. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. Bur Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. 
Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? All right, so she said, well, I, I remember what she told me to do. An iron block and a blaze rod. I, I don't remember what she told the other person. All right, what is this? Is this the, is that the blaze rod? What is that? Oh, here we go. We have something over here. Why isn't it letting me scroll? Am I supposed to see if she's okay? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... <laughs> hmm. Fine, I I'll just do it myself then. I was gonna go get the stuff, but... Come on, come on, come on! Big winner, big winner, big... Loser! Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you what? three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... No. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? Calvin? You know about Ivor? He's created a terrible monster. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. It's very, very dangerous. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. Yes, he gave it to me so that I could find the Order. Yes. This is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to, who is me? If you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. This works, guys. Creating a command a command block to fight a wither storm. That's really thinking outside the box. It's like fighting fire with fire, but we'll see how this goes.
I don't think I'm getting paid for this. Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Yeah. Oh, who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Eligard! That's pretty Fantastic. cool, actually. Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Did anyone else get away? Were there any other survivors? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? 
Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. We are reuniting the Order of the Stone. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. Boomtown? That's the name of Magnus' kingdom. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada bing, bada boom. Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus, that's very sweet. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. Little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops? Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? You're members of the Order. You two can't handle this? Whoa. Give us a minute, all right? We just barely got here. We'll get it. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. Only Soren were here. He might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. But there's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. That sounds pretty cool. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren hmm. claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. This thing sounds in impossible. How could it even exist? Impossible objects were Soren's specialty. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether. Or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. Alright, so we're gonna go find him. Um Is that it? That's all it took? Oh, I see a chest right there. I don't think I can interact with that though. You guys see that chest right there? I don't think it'll let me go there, unfortunately. Let me see. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. Well, I mean, you used to live here, didn't you? <laughs> That's a little funny. Uh, okay. So, I guess we're supposed to go back to... 
um, to the levers. The levers? Oh, yeah, 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 the amulet, of course, the amulet, the pedestal. Let's go ahead and place that bad boy back on there. Of course. All right, there's your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little... Weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. Then let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super TNT. <laughs> Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Who is that? Oh, no, it's... That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move. What is he trying to do? Not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous. We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning. Avoiding all the... Nighttime. Monsters. Everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it. Yeah, we need to go us. now. We have to go now. Yeah, I don't want the wither storm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse, and far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan. But fine. All right, so that's that's the plan right there. We gotta go save our uh, our uh, teammate, another member okay, of everyone, the order. Let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten the chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this wither storm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? Leaving the creepers quaking in their boots. I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. Kinda wish you had my back before. But whatever. You still seem alright. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Axel's one of my best friends. He makes me laugh, and he always sticks up for his friends. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea, or didn't think you could handle it? I figured that we needed brains to fight the Witherstorm. And brains? Means Eligard. Yeah, I've definitely heard that a lot. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. See? This is why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the Wither Storm. All that out later, we got some monsters to fight here, people. All right, that's a lot of monsters. We're just gonna go ahead, and kill you. Oh, what you want? What you want? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, ah. <laughs> There we go, there we go, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, I'm liking this now. What you want, bro? <laughs> this is cool. Get out of here. Get. We're gonna be light soon. We're gonna be okay. Man, I 
time is daytime. How far is Soren? It has to be close, right? Not much farther, we can make it! That was really close if you think about it. That took us like two minutes to get uh, get there. Soren really lived down here? So far from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Don't fall, okay? Oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. Oh, parkour. Yeah! Yeah! Square! Uh Oh my gosh. Hang on, Ruben I'm again. Ruben! Oh, this pig was Jesse, not meant to live. You okay? That was crazy. Yeah, I'm fine. How about you, Ruben? What a rush. Oh. Look! It's like an Enderman party. Come on, we should get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Wow, this architecture, it's incredible. Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. Yeah, this is pretty I'll cool. Be quiet. It's just a pointless building. That's all I'm saying. I mean, look Madness. at this. If an artist painted the inside, that's it. I'm going. Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no. You do not get to be the one who walks away. That's it. I'm going. See, I'm walking away too now. Super TNT, here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. All right. So I'm guessing there's a reason why we're so far. Okay, never mind. I was like, why are we zoomed out so far? But it zoomed us back in. This place is a dream come true for Lucas. Look at him. He's loving it. I mean, this is a pretty cool temple, whatever you want to call it, a cave. I'm glad he came along, even if it did take a bit of persuading. Who am I supposed to be, like, what am I supposed to be interacting with? Hey. You okay? Okay. She's not going to say anything. Ooh, what do we got here? Petra, are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. But let's split up. Uh-oh. I 
feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. You got me away from the wither storm, but I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? It showed up not too long after you saved me. What is that? What's wrong with your arm? Do you know what wither is? The wither? Of course, we've been- No, Jesse. Just wither, or wither sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others. We can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. <sighs> ah! Ah! Creeper! <laughs> Grab my hand, pull you up. Jesse, I just couldn't... I'm sorry. Jesse? Don't worry, I'm fine. Okay, I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. <laughs> All right, now we're in a spooky cave. And it's getting spookier. Oh man. I mean, this looks pretty cool, but man, a monster could come out of nowhere, guys. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. a spider or an enderman a creeper there's always a creeper somewhere because creepers always creep walk around this considering the world is on the brink of extinction you would think that everybody would be on the same page but there's no teamwork nobody's you know nobody knows or understands the word team and working together this looks amazing wow this is cool man Yeah, this is really cool, guys. What's in there? I see something in there. I'd love to build something like this. He must have something useful in here. He has to! Soren? Is that you? <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. What are you doing down Being here? rudely interrupted by you. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Sorry, Ivor, I'm... Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Petra, you escaped? <laughs> ah! Foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. I'm not letting him leave either. That's right. We've let him escape for the last the only time. One who can stop the wither storm. Not you, not the order. Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. Nope. I won't let you leave. 
Got you. There's no time for this. Jesse, Petra, even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. We stopped him. Jesse did it anyway. False. You have stopped nothing. A query. Have you ever seen the effect? of a splash potion of slowness. Magnus and Eligard may think they can stop me, that they can destroy the Wither Storm, but they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. That was it? Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit no of way. Answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. Wow. Well, guys, that's episode two. And honestly, that was that was short. That was sh really short, but it was good. Like episode two had a lot more intensity to it. It had more action and a lot more suspense. Like I felt like like my actions carried a lot more weight. In the previous episode um, so um, definitely gonna give it a higher rank than episode one but it was a lot shorter it felt like man it felt like an hour maybe at max it felt like an hour where the previous episode was like an hour and 40 minutes or something like that but it was a good episode I hope you guys enjoyed as well you know make sure you subscribe I will be uploading episode 3 onto my channel as well so uh, make sure you guys do subscribe Help me out by liking 
like in this stream as well if you did enjoy it and uh, i really appreciate all the support guys so uh, like i said like it subscribe and i will see you guys in episode three of minecraft story mode so take care bye guys bye